Well, let's lift our hands to Jehovah and bless his holy name. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Let's give him adoration. Father, we just want to say we love you. Oh, Father, what a good God you are. Abba, Father, what a wonderful, wonderful Father. Oh, we just want you to know we praise you. We appreciate you. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We bow down before you, our Father in heaven. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, our Father in heaven. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before you, our Father in heaven. We glorify your holy name. We bow down before you. Abba Father, the Father of all fathers, the King of all kings, the Father of the fatherless, the husband of the widow, the fruitful vine, we bless your holy name. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. We are here again, Lord God Almighty, in your own miraculous way today. Answer our prayers. Put an end to all our fruitless efforts and make us absolutely fruitful again in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And let somebody shout hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated. Um, I, I, I've just been reminded that there are some people who wrote asking for special prayers. And they were told to come to the divine encounter this morning that I will call them forward and I will pray for them. I forgot uh, when it was time. So if you have such a letter and you came for the divine encounter to be prayed for specially, you can come forward now so I can pray for you specially uh, and then you can be on your way home. That is if you are not uh, here for Shiloh Hour that you wrote asking for special prayers and you are told to come that after Divine Encounter I will be praying for you uh, you can come now so I will pray that prayer and you can then be on your way I see so you refuse to go <laughs> God will answer you today. The Almighty God will answer you today. Mm. Okay, so for two minutes, tell God what it is that you want Him to do for you so I can join my faith with yours and pray for you and uh, you'll be on your way. So go ahead now, just for two minutes. Those of you already in front, those of you on the way, talk to the Almighty God now. Thank you, Father. Thank you for reminding me. Please, Lord. Grant the request of this your children.
Let's begin to bring our prayers to a close. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. My Father, my God, I want to thank you. I want to give you all glory and honor because I know that even before I prayed, you have already heard this your children. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. You said in your word that it will be unto us according to our faith. This your children believed that if we can pray like this, that you are going to answer them. That's why they waited, my Father and my God. And so as I'm praying now, let it be to them according to their faith. Whatever may be their problems, my Father and my God, solve the problems today. Whatever breakthroughs they need from you, give to them today. As a result of this prayer, my Father and my God, that I'm praying in agreement with your children, let there be mighty testimonies. Even before they get home today, Father, let them sing a new song. Thank you, my Father and my God, because I know it is done. For we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Now you can go home rejoicing. In Jesus' name, I will hear your testimony very soon. You are welcome. Now, for those of us who are here for Shiloh Hour, can we please open our Bibles to Psalm 35, verse 27. Psalm 35, verse 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad. That favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Somebody will shout for joy this month. Beginning from now, as the Lord lives, somebody will know gladness. You know, this month we are discussing Abba Father. And your dad, according to this passage, has pleasure in your prosperity. He wants you to prosper. Not only physically, not only materially, but to prosper in everything. 
That's why in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, Genesis 1, verse 28, the first thing he said to human beings, first time God spoke to human beings, he said, be fruitful and multiply. He's interested in your fruitfulness, is interested in your multiplication. He's not even interested in you having just one child. He wants you to multiply. And so I can decree on the basis of that alone that those of you who are trusting God for the fruit of, of the womb, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will multiply. In Psalm 128, verse 3, Psalm 128, verse 3, he said, Your children will be like olive plants round about your table. Your children, this is a one child, children. And they'll be like olive plants, they, they'll be many. In Genesis 15, verse 5 to 6, Genesis 15 from verse 5 to 6, he said to Abraham, he said, look into the sky. Can you count the number of stars? In other words, he said, your children will be so many, they'll be, they be uncountable. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, those who think you are going to die barren will be surprised. Because when he was talking to Abraham, Abraham was yet barren. But he promised that his children would be like the stars of heaven. Romans 4 verse 17, Romans 4 17, referring to this passage said, God calls things that be not as though they were. He's already talking about the future. And the reason he can say that to a barren man is because according to Matthew chapter 3 verse 9, Matthew 3 verse 9, he can bring children out of stones. And your womb is not a stone. So if you can bring children out of stones, there is hope for you. As a matter of fact, in Romans chapter 4, verse 18 to 19, Romans 4, verse 18 to 19, a Bible says, Sarah's womb was already dead. But God resurrected it. He brought it back to life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that God who never changes, we perform a miracle for you in Jesus' name. In Isaiah 43, verse 19, Isaiah 43, verse 19, because you may say my own case is different. Uh, my problem is not exactly like that of Sarah. Oh, what the doctor said is a little different from what you have said. In Isaiah 43 verse 19, God said, I will do a new thing. When you are sharing your testimony, everybody will shout, this is something new. You remember the story of the sister who had no womb. And yet God gave her a set of twins. That's a new thing. You remember the story of the sister from Abuja who had no fallopian tubes and God gave her a son. That's a new thing. You remember the story of a sister whose womb had been cut off because she, she got pregnant when at school and an attempt to uh, to abort 
The doctors found that unless they removed the womb, she would bleed to death. They removed the womb. She still had children. No matter what they said about your own case, God will do a new thing. And so we're going to pray a special prayer because God himself said that this will be a year of surprises. We're going to pray that your own, your own case will be one of those surprises. You see, in Genesis chapter 30, verse 22 to 23, Genesis 30, 22 to 23, the Bible says God remembered Rachel. God remembered Rachel. And before you knew it, she had a child. And she said, no, 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 I will get more. And God gave her yet another one. That's why we are all going to cry to God today that the Almighty God will remember you. But before we pray, because as we normally do, you're going to come towards the altar. I'm going to pray for you. And then you go ahead and talk to God till you are satisfied. But if there's anyone who hasn't given his or her life to Jesus, miracles are for children. Miracles are children's bread. So if you want to partake in the miracle that God will want to do this morning, come and surrender your life to Jesus first. Just in case there's anyone at all. I know most of you are here in the morning. You probably have already given your life to Jesus. But in case there is anyone who is not yet born again and you want to be, I'm going to count from one to four. Before I say four, come and stand before me. Let me pray for your salvation. And then the rest of us will be able to pray our prayer of today. So I'm counting one. Just in case there is one person, there might be only one or two, but then you have to come very quickly. Two. Three. You will have to hurry up because the rest of us are very eager to pray now. You're welcome. Any other person, please, if you're on the way, wave your hand so I can wait for you a little. Any other person? Okay. Now, those of you who have already come forward, cry to Jesus. Cry to Jesus. Ask him to have mercy on you. Ask him to save your soul. Ask him to wash away your sins with his blood and promise him that from now on you will live the rest of your life for him. And the rest of us, please, let's stretch our hands towards our brothers and sisters and intercede for them that the Almighty God will save their souls and they will hear their cry today. Let's call on him now. Let's call on the Lord for just one minute. Let's intercede for this people who have come forward for salvation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Savior, I want to bless your name. King of glory, I want to live too high. Concerning this, your children, I say, please, Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Because they have come to you now, ancient of days, I pray that you will forgive all their sins in Jesus' name. You will save their souls. And you will write their names in the book of life in Jesus' name. And I pray that from now on, any time they too call on you, you will answer them by fire. Thank you, my Father and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Now, those of you in front, if you turn to your left, you see a man there holding a placard. Please follow him. He will take you to where some pastors are waiting. They will collect your names, address, and prayer request. And I promise you, I'll be praying for you. Congratulations. Let's give the Lord a big round of applause, even as they begin to go. Now, if you are clapping, clap very well. Clap very well. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, like I promised, I want to join my faith with yours this morning again. I want to cry to God for you that this will be your month. So you are free to come to the altar. I will pray for you. And after that, you can spend as much time with God as you want. And then when you have prayed and you are satisfied, you drop your offering and you'll be on your way home. Thank you, Father. And even as you are coming, begin to talk to God that this time around, He will answer you immediately. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you. Every space in front of the altar is part of the altar. So, as soon as you get to any of this section that is called altar space, you are free to wait there. If you want, you can stand. If you want, you can kneel down. If you want, you can lie down. The choice is yours. Just be within the altar space as we pray now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And let's just go ahead and raise our hands to the Almighty God, even as I pray. My Father, my God, the great and mighty Abba Father, the one who said increase, be fruitful, and multiply, the one who spoke and said let there be light and there was light, I bless your holy name. I bless your name because I know you always hear me and you always answer me. On behalf of all these your children that I know you are about to surprise, accept my thanks in Jesus' name. <laughs> On the basis of your commandment that we should be fruitful and multiply, I hereby decree that every one of your children here today will be fruitful. I decree that they will multiply. I decree that none of them will die barren. In the life of every one of them, this very month, Father, do a new thing. that's already dead, wake it up today. Any part of the body that is missing, Father, replace it today. My Lord and my Savior, this very moment that your mighty hand that can make fruitful, lay it on this your children. Father, remember them today. Remember them right now. Before they leave this auditorium, Father, remember them. 
If any of them should return by next month, my father and my God, let them be already pregnant. Give them wonderful children. Whatever they ask you for, whether twins or triplets, answer them in Jesus' name. And do it today, Lord, so we can glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now go ahead and tell him what you want. You want twins, you want triplets, you want a boy and a girl, two boys, two girls. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Tell him, he's your father. He's listening. <laughs> <laughs>